McDonald's became part of the 2024 election buzz when former President Donald Trump served fries at a restaurant in Feasterville, Travos, Pennsylvania. However, the company didn't invite Trump, and his visit wasn't arranged by McDonald's. Most McDonald's locations are run by independent owners who follow company guidelines, but can make their own decisions, like inviting political figures. In a memo shared with employees, McDonald's said it didn't plan Trump's visit, but used the moment to show that McDonald's is an important part of American life. The memo, signed by the company's US leaders, stated that McDonald's does not support any political candidates and stays neutral in the election, describing itself as, not red or blue, we are golden. In their campaigns, Democrats have mentioned Kamala Harris's past summer job at McDonald's. During the event, Trump wore an apron and served food at the restaurant, which was closed for the campaign. McDonald's explained that the franchise owner, Derek Giacomantonio, was approached by local police about Trump's visit and agreed to it, wanting to show how his team serves the community. The company said it allows everyone to visit its restaurants as part of its values. However, some customers and staff criticized the decision to let Trump campaign there. Trump will be Trump. You either love him or hate him. But one thing's for sure, he knows how to think outside the box. What Kamala might not realize is that billions of people have access to social media. And as long as Trump goes viral, he'll keep gaining support, especially among young voters, even if it means serving a McDonald's burger. So what do you think? Will Trump's unconventional marketing campaign win him the election? Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more breaking news.